Recently, Ross Fish sent us the Muffinzeef Modular Muskrat, a dirty 8-bit percussion module with some really unique and cool features. One option that we didn't explore on Muskrat are the MSG expansion chips, additional firmware is programmed onto chips that can be removed and inserted into the back of the module. The modes include frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, phase modulation, granular synthesis, and wavetable synthesis, all of which differ from the original Muskrat chip which comes pre-installed in the module. Removing an installed chip is simple, especially when using the proper instruments. However, a flathead screwdriver will do if you're careful. Be sure to power down the unit and remove the power ribbon from the back of the module. The legs on the chips are fragile, so use care and work slowly. It's fairly easy to work the flat tip of a screwdriver between the hopper and the chip. Slight pressure on each side should pop the chip out of the hopper. Then align the next chip. The tiny indentation on the chip should be in the upper left corner, and the painted letter should appear in the upright position. Very gently pop it into place, checking each leg as you apply pressure to make sure they are entering the appropriate holes on the hopper. In each mode, the bang input, range switch, tail, and chew knobs all act in the same way as the original firmware. The bang input is an envelope follower. The range switch and tail knob control the length of the internal amp envelope. And the chew knob controls the overall pitch, though not following the one volt per octave standard. The frequency modulation chip, marked with an F, converts the module into a sort of dual operator FM voice. Great for kick drums, toms, and bells. The scratch function alters the FM index, while dig changes the modulator tuning, with the muskrat switch toggling between LFO and audio rate modulation. Chu controls the pitch of the carrier. Patching envelopes to the FM index and pitch can give us some very musical results. Amplitude modulation chip is identified by the letter A. The scratch knob controls modulator detune. Dig controls the modulation rate, while the switch again hops between LFO and audio rate modulation. Also great for kicks when combined with an envelope, try modulating dig and chew for some gorgeous atonal results. The phase modulation chip, indicated with a P, starts with either a rough triangle or thin sawtooth wave shape, selected by the muskrat switch. The scratch knob acts as a bit shifter, squashing the wave shape and generating some gritty high frequencies. The dig knob shifts the phase, resulting in what sounds like frequency doubling or increasing octaves. The granular chip selects a short sample with the dig knob, loops it, and then offers control over the loop length or grain size via the scratch knob. The grain can be reversed using the muskrat switch. Results can vary from weird glitchy tones to vocal-like effects. The wavetable chip is similar to the original muskrat functionality, replacing the wave folding and phase distortion with amplitude modulation of the wave shape. Scratch controls the AM modulation rate. Dig selects the wavetable. 
while the switch again toggles between LFO and audio rate amplitude modulation. The chips effectively turn the Muskrat into six different modules, each with its own distinct characteristics. Remember, the bang input is an envelope follower, so interesting results can be achieved by routing loops or other audio into the muskrat in these other modes. What modules would you like to see us cover in future videos? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, smarter.